Look at the two windows. One is reliable workhorse that has empowered enterprise apps in for 15 years and the other is the future of Windows development. For a long time, WPF was the undisputed key. But now in 2025, with Microsoft pushing the Windows app SDK and WinUI 3 maturing, developers are asking the tough questions. Is WPF finally dead? If you are starting a new project today, do you stick with the stability of WPF or do you risk the learning curve of WinUI 3 for the modern look? I am back to art. I am from a digital art background. For me, pixels matter. I don't just want my code to work. I want it to look beautiful as well. Today, I'm going to break down the differences, not just in syntax, but in design philosophy. We are going to look at the rendering engines, the XAML differences, and help you decide which one you should bet your career on in 2025. So let's dive in. And for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. It motivates me to create more such videos. First, let's talk about the engine under the hood. This is the biggest difference nobody talks about. WPF is built on DirectX 9. It's like using an old version of Photoshop. It works, it's stable, but it struggles with complex high refresh rate animations and modern effects like background blurs. WinUI 3 runs on visual composition layer powered by DirectX 12. This is a modern rendering pipeline. It handles lightning shadows and high DPI screens natively. If you want your app to feel alive, you need this engine. But there is a trade-off in WPF. We have the designer, you can drag and drop and you can see your UI without running the app. It's safe and it's comfortable. For example, here on the screen, you have the uh, designer that you can see, you can drag and drop controls on the Windows uh, window and you can position them and uh, move them freely. And that gives you more control on how you want your uh, design to be and you can visually see it. In WinUI 3, the designer is gone. Microsoft wants us to use the hot reload instead. For many developers, this is a deal breaker. For example, if you can see here, you do not have a designer and you, uh, if you want a designer, you have to run the application and instead you need to use the hot reload function that you can see over here. And as, as and when you make changes to this uh, designer over here or the XAML over here, the hot reload will change. For example, if I go to this uh, uh, title bar over here and here is the text block and if I make changes to this text block, you can see that the hot reload instantly changes the uh, control and that is how you can see your designer in action. WPF uses uh, traditional bindings. These are resolved at runtime which uses reflection. It is flexible but slow. So you, here you can see we have, bind, uh, we have the content bound to this button text which is a property here in the code behind and here is the property that we have created and here you can see um, it is for example if i remove this uh, property altogether if i go ahead and comment this out you will see that it does not throw any error so this is not a compiled time binding and uh, it is only a runtime binding so if i run this application it will throw an error because the button text uh, binding is not found so i'll run this application now and you will see that when uh, I run this application, it is uh, throwing this error. But now, uh, if I go ahead and enable this back, this error will be gone and the application will run successfully. So uh, now let's uh, switch to the WinUI 3. And uh, here we have a similar example where we have the button content bound to the button text. But here you can see instead of binding, we have X bind. And um, this is a compile time binding and it is strongly typed and it is significantly faster. For example, now first, we, uh, let's change this to binding because this will also support binding. But here you can see uh, the button text property in the code behind. And if I go to the code behind and comment this out, it will behave the similar way as WPF. But if I go ahead and change this to X bind, you will see that uh, it is strongly typed and significantly faster. And you can see that it instantly shows me this error that this type is not found. So you can see I do not have uh, it. It instantly recognizes that this property is not available. And as soon as I uncomment this and save and go back, you can see that this error will be instantly resolved. So that is the power of WinUI 3. When you have complex UIs with thousands of elements, 
Mini Y3 doesn't just look better, it performs better because the bindings are compiled into the code itself. So better rendering, rendering engine, faster bindings, but no visual designer. Is it worth to switch? That depends on the major thing and that is the ecosystem. So here you can see these controls, they do, they do the job, but you can see they are not visually pleasing. For example, this large uh, list of 10,000 items. And if I, as, so as I scroll through this list, you can see that it refreshes and it is not visually pleasing. But the, on the other hand, the controls on the Win UI 3 are so uh, smooth and so visually pleasing. For example, this large list, I have a similar large list over here. And as you can see, these uh, list scroll through so beautifully and so smoothly. So that is the power of the DirectX that uh, WinUI 3 has. So is WPF dead? The short answer is no, it's not. But the real answer depends on your goal in 2025. The WPF is a choice of stability. It is a building block and a massive mission critical enterprise application. Or if you need compatibility with older Windows versions, WPF still wins. The ecosystem is massive and it's not going anywhere. But if your goal is to build an application that looks and feels like it belongs on Windows 11 that leverages modern effects like Mica and Acrylic, Windows UI 3 is the only answer. You are building for the future, even if the ecosystem is still maturing. For Vector Art, this choice was easy. My brand is built on art and design. I need the smooth animations, those perfect shadows, and the modern look that the UI 3 composition layer can provide. I made my bet on the future, and next week I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to put that bet to work by modernizing a boring old WinForms application into a sleek, fluent desktop app. So now I want to know your choice. Are you going to stick with reliability of WPF in 2025, or are you going to embrace the future with WinUI3? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next time on Vector Water.